Kinetic molecular theory is a model that helps us understand what is happening to the molecules of a gas. It helps us to understand the behavior of a gas, what happens when the environment of a gas is changed, why all gases act pretty much the same, and why things do not act the same. There are five basic ideas or tenets of kinetic molecular theory. Understanding them will help understand why gases act as they do and under what conditions they might not act like a gas. Number one, molecules of a gas are so small compared to the volume that the gas takes up that their combined volumes can be ignored compared to the total volume in which the gas is contained under normal conditions. This means that under the pressures and temperatures at which we usually find gases, they are mostly empty space. Two, the molecules of a gas are in constant, rapid, random, straight line motion until they collide with some other molecule. There is no coordination to the motion, it is random, and collisions may change the direction and speed at which the molecules are moving. The molecules are generally moving very fast, but they are not all moving at the same speed. Number three, the molecules are moving at different speeds, some fast, some slow. There are so many of them, however, that their speeds are predictable and the average molecular kinetic energy is directly proportional to the absolute temperature of the gas. This is probably the most important of the five tenets of kinetic molecular theory, so let's take a little more time to examine this idea. From physics, the kinetic energy of a moving object is one-half the mass of the object times the square of the speed of the object. So, the average molecular kinetic energy is one-half the mass of the molecules times the average speed of the molecules. That is really the RMS for root mean square speed, usually written U or S rather than V. The average kinetic energy is directly proportional to the absolute temperature, but does not depend on what the gas is. This means that, since gases have different masses, then their molecules must have different speeds to balance the different masses and produce the same kinetic energy. We can relate this to the molar mass. The less the molar mass, the faster the molecules must be moving at a particular temperature. The Boltzmann distribution gives the distribution of molecular speeds. It is related to temperature. The higher the temperature, the more spread out the speeds are and the higher the RMS speed. There are always some molecules with low speeds, regardless of the temperature. The collisions between molecules can transfer energy from one molecule to another. However, these collisions, when there are no chemical reactions, conserve kinetic energy. They are called elastic or perfectly elastic collisions. All collisions conserve momentum. Perfectly elastic collisions also conserve kinetic energy. If kinetic energy were lost in the collisions between gas molecules, then eventually all the molecules would lose kinetic energy and stop, meaning that the temperature would gradually fall to absolute zero. Number five. Attractions and repulsions between the molecules can be ignored. There are forces between the molecules, more on that later, but they are relatively short-range forces, and the molecules are so far apart, relatively, that the forces have no effect. So here are the five points of the kinetic theory of gases. It's a good thing to remember. Now let's take a look at a couple of properties of gases that lead us to a law for comparing different gases. 
If fusion is the escape of gas molecules into a vacuum through a tiny hole. The molecules that hit the hole pass through and escape from the container. How quickly molecules can escape depends on how fast the molecules are moving and therefore on the molar mass of the molecules. Diffusion, the spread of one substance through another, is a related but different property. Gas molecules diffuse based on their speed, so the rate of diffusion is also dependent on the molar mass of the molecules. In the video, we see bromine vapor diffusing through air. The timer is started when liquid bromine is added to the bottom of the test tube. We can see the brown gas advancing slowly up the tube. After about 40 seconds, the gas has clearly progressed further up the tube, the highest point being marked by the gloved finger. At two minutes, and again at three minutes, the gas has clearly continued its progress up the tube. A close study of the rate of effusion or diffusion reveals that the rate is directly related to the average RMS speed of the molecules. Two gases that have the same temperature have the same kinetic energy, which means that one half m2 u2 squared equals one half m1 u1 squared, where m is the molar mass of the substance and u is the RMS speed. Solving gives us the equation u2 over u1 equals the square root of m1 over m2. So the RMS speed ratio is related to the square root of the inverse of the molar mass ratio. Substituting the rate of diffusion or effusion for the RMS speed gives us Graham's law, which says that the ratio of the rates of diffusion or effusion is inversely proportional to the square root of the ratio of the molar masses. There are four problems on the problem sheet for this lesson. One deals with applying the kinetic theory of gases, and the other three with using Graham's law.